the unfortunate declaration of that plan. Once upon a time, somewhere in the depths of space, there was a planet not only at all, but from a core planet analyzed. Suddenly a strange place in many ways. A civilization was ruled by a king called King Orgasmatron. Who did not allow fertility in his kingdom. In order to make sure that no one in his land remained in worship, set out the highest goal of faith and faith and faith. It's stated that each citizen at the age of 16 had to be right to his castle so Orgesmatron could fight him or her and take away his or her virginity. And he was very successful with it. However, there was one citizen that has never been touched by King Orgesmatron. And he certainly was very, very proud of it. His name was Citizen Butt Pluck the Needle Bear. Needle Bear was more his nickname and the reason for him still being a virgin. When he was 16 and in front of the king, his pants were pulled down and both King Orgasmatron and his son and his guard were shocked to see that Bob Pluck's ass was hairy and full of nails and needles. So the King Orgasmatron was unable to steal his virginity. Bob Pluck indeed was a special boy born with some strange kind of mutation. King Orgasmatron was furious when he noticed that there was one of his citizens he called not Pluck. So then he banned citizen Bart Pluck and had him taken far away from his kingdom. Ever since that day, citizen Bart Pluck lived alone in the forest called Santa Cockwood the Forest. One day, it came to Bart Pluck that he was not going to live alone any longer. As almost 16 girls who fled from King Orgasmatron come to his house, urging him to help her. As soon as Bob Black saw her, he fell in love with her. So Bob Black led her into his house and let her live with him. Both of them ever since lived together peacefully and happily. One day, almost 16 girls went out to get some crabs for dinner. So Bob Black was left alone in his place. Getting crabs usually takes almost 16 girls two hours. But strangely, the day she returned only four minutes after she left. But Black was wondering but let her inside after all. She immediately started seducing. But Black 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 and asked him, whether he wanted to try something new when she told him she was going to butt fuck. <laughs> <laughs> butt fuck, butt fuck. He first was surprised but not disgusted after all. So both went to the bathroom and started off. Almost 16 girls certainly knew about butt plugs and mutations and was well prepared as she had all Pubic hair and nails and needles. When she had finished shaving and twisting out all the nails and needles, she started getting out of the queue. Big little fairy tale princess dress and started to fuck. When they got a fuck, that was wondering how all the six hundred was able to fuck her best. When he turned around, he was shocked as he looked into King Orgasmatron's smiling face. King Orgasmatron had stopped on the sixteen girl and had somehow traced back her way to the forest. The day he had waited for her, caught her and killed her after she had left the house. 
Then King of Esmond one put on her dress and cut off her hair to wear it himself, in order to look just like her. But Brooke's face was wet with anger. He sees the modernity filled with hate, anger and pain. He kicked King of Esmond in the boards, took on his intergalactic Winchester that he had always kept him under his bed. He pointed the gun at King of Esmond's cock and shot it off. Afterward, Pat Brock shot King of Esmond in the head. His brain splattered the walls behind him. And down went King of Gaspard's run, lying in his own blood and gut. Once it was done, Bad Blanc left his belongings and returned to the kingdom from which he was banned. Arriving there, all of the cities were happy to see him as they saw there were no deliverers. The citizens of the village from Bad Blanc King. King Bad Blanc. The next day after it happened, Bad Blanc changed. Christmas was at one set up. First, the citizens were happy when they met him. First, the citizens were happy when they heard about the law change. But soon, when they realized what the law change was about, they all went mad. But Pluck had only changed age for the duration from 16 down to 12. And Bob Rock and the citizens fell for happily.